word of the week is dreams. The definition of a dream is a series of thoughts, images and sensations occurring in a person's mind during sleep. It also means a ch cherished aspiration, ambition or ideal. What does the word dream mean to you? The word dream means to me when you believe in something and that it will happen. What is your dream? My dream is to be, go to college and become a teacher. What does dream mean to you? Dream means to me that I wish to be something. What is your dream? My dream is to be an astronaut. What does the word dream mean to you? Dream means to me something that you've seen while you're asleep. What is your dream? My dream is to be successful. Dreams are wishes or hopes that we have for the future that we want to come true. Dreams is our word of the week because on Thursday, 13th of January, we celebrate Make Your Dream Come True Day. This is an annual day for people to think about the dreams they have in life and ways of achieving them. We can have dreams about anything. It could be a dream about what we want to do when we grow up. I would like to be a gamer. I would like to be a footballer. I would like to be a dance teacher or a cheerleading teacher. It could be a dream about where we want to live or who we want to live with. I like to live in California with my family. I'd like to live in Iceland with my friend Amelia. I want to live in my house with my family and my friend Jack. Or it could be a dream about what we want the world to look like in the future. I hope deforestation stops in the future. In the future, I hope the seas will be free of plastic. I hope in the future there is advanced technology. When we have thought about what our dream is, we can plan out ways to achieve that dream. Talk to people or listen to others who have achieved their goals. What did they do to do this? Surround yourself with people who will, who will encourage you to reach your dreams and do the same for them. Sometimes it might feel difficult to achieve your dreams. At times it may even feel impossible. However, we should know that when God is with us, we can do anything and achieve our dreams. Richard, this week tells, tells us this. The scripture is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 37. The scripture this week tells us that for there is nothing that God can't cannot do. This shows us that nothing is impossible for God and so when he is with us nothing is impossible for us. This means there is nothing stopping us from achieving our dreams when we have God with us. To reflect on the word this week we would like you to make a dream jar. You will need a jar and some small pieces of paper. Take the piece of paper, think about what your dream is. What do you want to achieve in life? Remember, nothing is impossible. Write down or draw your dream on the paper. Decorate this if you want. When you are ready, fold up your dream and put it into the dream jar.
take some time to read out other people's dreams so you can encourage them to achieve it. How does this link to our mission statement? We can remember to trust in God that he's always with us. This will allow us to create a better tomorrow by achieving our dream. Your mission this week is to try to achieve your dream, no matter how difficult it is. The Far East, they have something that's called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. They have to water and fertilize the ground where it is every day. And it doesn't break through the ground until the fifth year. But once it breaks through the ground, within five weeks, it grows 90 feet tall. Now the question is, does it grow 90 feet tall in five weeks or five years? The answer is obvious. It grows 90 feet tall in five years. Because at any time, had that person stopped watering and nurturing and fertilizing that dream, that bamboo tree would have died in the ground. And some people, ladies and gentlemen, they stop because they don't see instant results. It doesn't happen quickly. They stop. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got to keep on watering your dream. And when it began to happen, they stopped laughing. During those hard times, we didn't know how you're going to make payroll during those times when you fail and, and, and things didn't work out. They were, they were nowhere to be found. You know what I discovered? When you're working at your dream, somebody said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. It's good to you. Why? See, when you when it's hard and there's a struggle, see, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. You walk with a different kind of spirit. People know you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You know it was hard, but you did it hard. Even though it's hard, it's worth it. The people who go after this stuff, what makes it worth it? It's gotta be your passion. You gotta love it. You gotta love it, it's gotta be what you are supposed to do. You're supposed to build something, you're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it, learn. Do whatever is required. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you want. It's necessary. If you want it, you got to go into action. You got to be willing to experiment. You got to be willing to fail and to succeed. You got to be willing to form and to develop new relationships. It's you. It's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a silver platter and say, "Here's your dream manifested." No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it.